Let's begin with a bell. Where are you? Right now. What's going on at this moment for you when you come into this time for meditation? What do you need? What do you need to be at peace and let go? Any last releasings? Anything to let go of or forego? Any thoughts to unburden? to-do lists to unpack and put aside. Just coming in wherever you are doing this bedtime ritual. A chair, a couch, perhaps best yet, your bed making yourself so cozy. And slowing down. Falling into stillness. Tuning into the quiet, getting heavy, dropping in. Closing your eyes if you haven't already. Maybe say a word of gratitude to yourself that you gave yourself this moment. That you are doing something kind for yourself. Maybe you can praise yourself for something good that happened today. Some kind gesture. Some excellent act. Some funny observation. Take a brief moment for affirmation and acknowledging your inherent goodness and greatness. Dropping in, settling down, slowing, becoming more quiet and still. Noting how your body feels where it might be tight, where it might be relaxed. Breathe into it all. You can start using the ancient Hebrew breath word, Sela. Sela. And we begin by forgiving. Because you probably can't sleep loaded up with resentments.
Someone was probably a pain in your neck today or recently. Someone bumped or bruised you emotionally or physically. Something didn't go your way. We're all so delicate and necessarily imperfect. Can you forgive that in others? All of their mistakes and foibles. It's fine. And if you're not ready to forgive, you can always placeholder forgive. Imagine being able to forgive sometime and let go of it for now. Since you know how to forgive, you can imagine that you might need to be forgiven. That you've probably made mistakes and been a jerk. Because who hasn't? Who hasn't gossiped or said an unkind word or cut in line? It's the nature of being. Maybe you could imagine asking forgiveness. Maybe to someone in particular or just in general. May all that be acceptable. As you begin down this process, you might notice the light getting dim. Your eyes getting heavy. Bad thoughts drifting away and dreams coming in at the edges. Letting yourself moment by moment, maybe a moment at a time, drift in and out of consciousness away from structured thought. And when you get distracted, because we all get distracted, just come back. Or don't. Let the distraction carry you off to sleep, if that's where it's taking you. And take a moment to gather in the wholeness the oneness of the universe. That it all grew out of a single, unitary, incredible source. And that it's growing still without your effort. It's all gathered up and united in a common destiny. Let that understanding fill you with love, compassion, and faithfulness. Maybe in the coming day or days, you'll be touched by that unity and give gratitude. Maybe smile. Drifting off now with the thought of the great glory of all that is and gratitude just to exist. You are protected. You're saved and safe. covered by mighty wings and a true shield. You 
in refuge from harm or sorrow. Guarded in all your ways. Lifted up. Sated and full. And you lie down in serenity. Then you'll rise up with serenity, peace and wholeness. Harmony and distinction. Shielded. Protected. Rescued. Guarded as you go out from the day and guarded when you come back into consciousness. Always with peace. Harmony. Serenity. And great and good forces are always in your corner. Looking out for you the way they looked out for those before you. covering you and shielding you. These great and good forces are always with you, and they can always be with those who come next. And the universe blesses you and guards you breathe it in and then the universe looks upon you with grace Breathe that in too. And the universe turns to you expectantly, wishing you nothing but peace. You can have it all. And you are and will be protected in your journey through the dreamlands. Great and good forces all around you. In the day, you ponder and wonder and ask questions. And you can put aside your curiosity at your right side with the great good force responsible for wandering and wonder. In the days, you struggle, put forth effort, lift weight, carry. And at night, you can deposit all of your vigor at your left side with the great good force responsible for strength. And before you, a great and good force holds forth a light to illumine your night. And behind you, a great and good force offers you healing from aches and pains, sorrows and distresses. 
nurturing your body with the magical capacities of sleep. And all above, everywhere around you, glory and delight. Take a moment to stretch, adjust. Make yourself even more comfortable. Fidget one more time. Breathe in deep and exhale the word Selah. And all things continue. All things are awesome and eternal. All things are without end and you are floating amid all of its greatness. A portion of eternity. You can entrust your spirit and your body to a loving universe, sleeping with nothing to fear.